How you doing? I'm your man, John Wilson. Today, we're going to learn how to divide with scientific notation. This is another skill that can seem difficult, but as I'm going to show you, it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty simple as long as you know the steps. We're presented with a standard division using scientific notation problem here. We have 15 times 10 to the third divided by 3 times 10 to the first power. Now, the first step here is you want to divide your factors. That's division. So we're going to go and we're going to do 15 divided by 3, and that is 5. Good job. 15 divided by 3 gives me 5 times. Now I have to look at my bases here. These are what's known as like bases. And when I divide like bases, I subtract my exponents. So it's going to look something like this. 5 times 10, whatever the numerator is, I am subtracting that from the denominator. 3 minus 1. I go and I perform the subtraction. I get 5 times 10 to the second. My factor is good because it's greater than 1 but less than 10. And I have subtracted my exponent. This problem is done. It was just that simple. Let's try one more before I let you go. Here we have 33 times 10 to the negative third. Negative exponent, don't be afraid. Pretty easy to deal with. Divided by 3 times 10 to the negative seventh power. So once again, first step, divide your factors. 33 divided by 3 gives me 11. Good job. Now I want to go in and I want to deal with my like basis. So times 10, and I'm going to have negative 3 minus a negative 7. Now, when you have two negatives next to each other like this, it becomes addition. So this is going to turn into a plus sign. And your final answer will be 11 times 10. We do negative 3 plus 7. That gives me the fourth power. But is that really the final answer? What's wrong here? What is wrong with this answer? Can you figure it out? I'll tell you, that factor is no good because it's greater than 10. For it to be in correct scientific notation, your factor has to be greater than 1. Exponent have an inverse relationship. So if I decrease the factor, the exponent has to get larger. I move the decimal one spot, so it got smaller by one degree. I then therefore have to go in and add one to the exponent. And my final answer will be 1.1 times 10 to the fifth power. It's a good factor, good scientific notation. That's it. Not so hard, was it? I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video, leave a good comment, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. That's another reason math matters.